Every game has its glitches, but in the sunny world of Animal Crossing, a glitch can seem like a horror story in disguise. Welcome back, my fellow gamers. Today we are returning to the magical world of Animal Crossing, where everything seems peaceful, wholesome, and nice. Until one day you return to town to find all of your bells and items have mysteriously gone missing. What's going on? Who murdered Red? And what subliminal messages are hidden in K.K. Slider's music? Keep watching to find out all this and more as we count down the top 10 scary Animal Crossing glitches. Ooh, scary. All right, let's get counting. Number 10, Ghost of Red. Some players have experienced a glitch where Red becomes completely eliminated from the game, or just doesn't show up altogether. So in some games, Red is missing or potentially could be seen as being deceased. The glitch has been reported to Nintendo, but is yet to be fully patched. Although Red is supposed to show up on players' islands, some players have reported that they only see his boat, but haven't seen him specifically anywhere. And in fact, if you time travel, it's possible that his boat can just disappear altogether, leaving you to wonder if his boat was really there at all or if it was only there in spirit. Number 9, cloning. Because cloning is scary but also because I found this glitch quite interesting. In New Horizons, playing either as two local characters yourself or playing with a friend on local multiplayer and activating this glitch can allow you to clone just about anything. And the amount this glitch allows players to cheat their way to riches is startling, as the amount of cloning you can do is endless. The way it works is you pull up a one by one square item that you can put something on top of, so an item like a table. You then place another item on top of it, like your Nintendo Switch item or uh, the crown item. The second character then proceeds to spin the table or whatever other base item you're using, while the main player presses Y in time with the spinning, allowing you to continuously create more and more items that could be sold to amass you more and more bells. An update of course has since gotten rid of this glitch, but you can always choose to not update your game right away and instead just cheat your way to wealthiness. Your choice. Number eight, mystery notifications. Some have reported a weird glitch with the Friends app in the game's Nook phone. It seems that even if your Switch is not connected to the Wi-Fi, it is possible to still somehow receive notifications. Players reported playing New Horizons while not connected to the internet and yet still somehow got random notifications from their Friends app. How is this even possible? This one isn't even just scary within the game, this is just scary in life. Like, where did those messages come from if you're not connected to anything? Number seven, must sing. In New Horizons, if you pick up the stereo item while it's playing music, it can actually cause nearby villagers to become trapped in a loop, where they are forced to sing on repeat forever. Those who are not part of the loop will behave normally, but those trapped will continue to start and stop singing continuously, forced to go on doing so for eternity, or at least until you free them. To fix this glitch, simply place any music player near the glitched out villager. Start the music and stop the music. Then pick the music playing item back up. This should fix the issue and free your villagers from their strange hypnotic song loop. Number six, KK Slider Paralysis. This glitch can happen if KK Slider is performing on Saturday in the plaza. It will cause villagers to become paralyzed, unable to move due to KK Slider's evil hypnotic performance. Well, I mean, not intentionally hypnotic or paralyzing per se. This glitch actually likely happens because the game just gets stuck, thinking that the villagers are still listening to KK Slider when really they should be moving on, and leaving them stuck there for hours. The only way to free your villagers is to push them far enough away from the plaza until they regain, in essence, consciousness, and are then freed from the song paralysis. Number five, Chaos Town. In the game Wild World, players found themselves introduced to the beta seed item glitch. In the game Wild World, players found themselves introduced to the beta seed item glitch. Seed items had been used to actually help create and test the layouts of the town in Animal Crossing Wild World. These seeds could be placed to create new buildings and trees and were used by players when visiting another player's town via Wi-Fi to basically completely destroy it by messing up its layout or simply to induce some 
and chaos. I've never experienced that glitch personally in my wild world, but I haven't found any seed items. Number four, mass extinction. If you visit a friend's island or they make their way over to yours, there is a chance that a glitch will activate that will slowly cause the island's fish and bug population to deplete. This happens due to the glitch affecting the respawn of both types of critters, to the point that even using bait while fishing will not work to attract fish, as there basically is no fish now left on your island. Number three, breaking and entering. In the original Animal Crossing game, there was a reported glitch that allowed players to break and enter into Tom Nook's store after hours. Yep, this is a real thing that happened. Using your shovel on the door could actually allow you to break in and wake up Tom so that you could make a late night purchase or sale. This was later fixed as obviously the whole idea of the world of Animal Crossing is that it's intended to be a peaceful and happy place, and Nintendo became concerned about the criminal implications of busting into Tom Nook's store and forcing him to do business with you after hours. Definitely it does not sound very nice or friendly, although I am always sad when I'm playing at midnight and I know the store is closed. And I'm like, I gotta sell things. That's okay, they have long hours. I should let them sleep. Number two, alien invasion. Call it a glitch or call it intentional. Either way, this seems to be a strange and scary coincidence that happens in the game. In Animal Crossing, one of the many different kinds of furniture that you can own is a television set. You can turn on your television in Animal Crossing and New Leaf to tune it to different shows, playing on it throughout the day at different times. In fact, in most of the games where you have television set, this is a thing that can happen. But if you watch it at a certain time of night, it will reveal something that is seemingly more sinister. At 3.33 a.m., if you turn on your TV, the normal late night static that it usually shows will be briefly interrupted by an alien transmission, lasting but a single minute. At 3.34 a.m., the TV will mysteriously return to static, making you question what you really saw and if you really saw it at all. What are these aliens doing? Is it a show? Is it a prank? Are there actually aliens in Animal Crossing? Number one, gyroid face. Never sure if it's gyroid or gyroid, but I always say gyroid. So I'm gonna go with gyroid. That's what I've always called them when I played. In Animal Crossing, you are always reminded to save. Part of the reason this is, is because resetting the game without saving will actually cause the game to glitch, and that glitch will punish you. The terrifying consequences you face if you don't do as told, you will find that when you return, you've actually lost all of your bells and your items. Not only that, but your face will now resemble that of a gyroids. Instead, now you'll have black gaping holes replacing the features of your face. So you'll have two deep black holes for your eyes and one gaping hole for your mouth. One well, little one actually. They're like, oh, it's super scary. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned lots about some of the seemingly dark and still accessible glitches within the Animal Crossing games. Now you know how to avoid them or how to find them for those that like exploring weird game glitches. What is your favorite Animal Crossing game? Who is your favorite villager? And which glitch do you think is the most scary within the Animal Crossing games? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And while you're on your way down there, be sure to click that like if you love Animal Crossing as much as we do. I love Animal Crossing, it's so much fun. This has been Top 10 Gaming and I'm your host Amanda McKnight, reminding you to keep on gaming on. And Watch out for those pitfalls. Pew pew.